the way that this, um, the, the sort of some feminists and some trans activists are now pitted against each other has made me very sad. Okay, in this particular instance, I don't know what the trans community thinks because the person who complained is not trans. Well, I can tell you that. So, uh, you know, the, this particular woman has a long history of fights. So she was very active. Sorry, in before the... we talk about the person who puts the poster up, can we just deal with the issue of the poster? Okay, the poster, the words. Is it a transphobic hate speech or not? Should the poster have been taken down? Should the poster site operators perhaps have offered the complainant another site to put his hate, message? Hate speech to me sounds like a crime. And I certainly don't think there was anything criminal on that poster. And personally, I would have left it up to do exactly what she said she wanted to do, have that discussion. I think the discussion has got quite distasteful and hurtful. Well and, I think, and I think that members of the trans community have been hurt enough and don't deserve to be continued to be hurt Although in the we way don't that they know, are being hurt. in this instance, whether anyone from the trans community has been hurt by that poster. Yeah, I'm talking about... The more, I just want to keep yes. on the poster, yeah. if we may, because yeah. that's so the issue I would, have, I would have left the poster up, but I do think the poster is offensive to the trans community. Can you explain the how? Because I didn't because even know it had anything to do with the trans community. I just read a dictionary definition of all... I mean, call me naive, but I honestly didn't draw yes. the link. But those involved in that fight, as they would call it, do. And well, what, do they? So, because, so, yes, but so, none of them complained. The only person that complained is a doctor who yes. is gay. Yes, and not and a I, member of the trans community. And I don't think so how do we know the trans community were upset by the poster okay, because, if none of them complained? Because of it. So, for instance, you know, she, this particular woman... Uh, no, said, I don't want to talk about right. the poster who posted. Just the posters. Ordinary because people what it's saw. Saying, because what it's saying is a way of... And what people on her side of the argument say frequently is you cannot be a woman with a penis. That is the argument that she or, makes. Or, or used to Or, 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 or used, to have, or, or used to have a penis. Right. And so she has, she has said that many, many, many times. And that is what that poster was saying in so many words, it's saying you are not a woman if you're not Which is what a the feminists proper say, right? woman. Which exactly. is what the feminists say. And I think that that is very, very hurtful to members of the trans community. But is are... it true? Isn't that the no, question? No, I don't think it's true. I so don't so, think so it's they true. are uh, 100% a woman once they've uh, transed. I think they have the right to call themselves women. That That's the right they're fighting for, and I think they have that right. They should have that yeah, right. And, and the right of women to go about their business and not have to share changing rooms and the like with people who, to all intents and purposes, other than what they say, are men? Uh, but that, that is a different issue, and we obviously we've had the girl gang. But it's, it's, a di it's a directly related issue. It's a directly related issue. But fundamentally, I think this argument all comes down to being kind and understanding. And I think a lot of this argument is unkind to members of the trans community. I think that's really beautifully put. Let me bring in, if I may at this point, a brilliant academic called Paula Wright, whose work I've followed on, on Twitter, a social media Twitter, for a fair few years now. And she really makes you think. Uh, she looks into evolutionary theory. She has some very strong views on this. Good afternoon, Paula. Good afternoon, Matthew. Lovely to talk to you at last, yes, I have to too. say. Um, I loved uh, Daisy's uh, appreciation that perhaps we kindness seems to have gone out of the window there, but uh, we'll, we'll come back to that right now. Just look, first of all, if we may, at the poster, not who put it up or who complained, just the poster. Is it offensive yeah. and to whom? Well, uh, what, what did it say again? Uh, woman. Uh, hang on, let me find my glasses. It said, <laughs> okay. woman, women, noun, Adult, human, female. Well, well, since when have nouns been offensive? Uh, it's just it's 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 getting quite ridiculous now, isn't it? The uh, the level of uh, offence that people are, are, are kind of coming. Well, but there are certain uh, nouns I can think of. Uh, some of them begin with uh, F, and some of them begin with yes. C, and, uh, and, yeah, and and they're yeah. not necessarily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think a kind of sex determination noun, male, female, is it kind of falls in, into that category uh i think woman you know it's never been it's never been a naughty word uh there are naughty words for women but woman isn't one of them okay <laughs> um I, I must be very naive in missing the uh the trans element of the poster um yeah mm -hmm. is, is it unkind to the trans community when there's no mention well, of the trans community? Is it not possible that this poster is shouting on behalf of those women who feel very passionately they don't want to share a prison cell with someone who has still got a penis or they don't want to share a changing room <laughs> with a person who's still well, got a those, penis? Those are valid, those are valid uh, concerns, I think. Um, but yes, I mean, I think it, it's certainly provocative and I think the kind of the battle, there's uh, literally a turf war going on between uh, uh, radical feminists and trans activists 
uh, for you know kind of a, the, the public consciousness or the public sympathy for their for their kind of victimhood, the the, the fight that they're kind of um, playing out in front of everybody for for that sympathy is a, is part of that. If um, if you were if you were on the board of the billboard company Prime Site, uh-huh. and this doctor had called you and said, "I think that poster is uh, trans hate speech, transphobic hate speech. Tear uh-huh. it down." What would you have told him? Well, I say, well, um, we live in a free country. Uh, there are, you know, um, people have the right to offend. If and and I'm and I'm afraid if you find that, you know, calling women women are offensive. That's something you need to kind of take up with your therapist, really. Can, can, can I bring uh, you in there, Daisy? I mean, I, I mean, Paula's line there. I mean, it is simply a definition of woman. How can that in itself be offensive? Well, of course, in itself it can't. But if you know sticking the message, on a poster. It's sticking on a poster. I, I, I mean, I agree with Paula. I would not have taken the poster down. Oh, okay. But it does offend me. But just as Paula said, I, I think that she, that woman has every right to put something offensive on a billboard, and I would defend her right to do that. Equally, I'm allowed to be offended by it. Okay. But, okay. but, yeah. but I don't want to see it taken down. I want to have the argument. I want to have the discussion. Okay. If, if you could just stay there, Paula, because I'd like to bring in uh, Kelly Jane Keen Minshall, who's uh, who's just rung in, which is excellent. She's listening to the show. Kelly Jane, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Why did you put that poster up, Kelly J? Um, because it's about time that women were allowed to assert our own boundaries. And the first and foremost uh, boundary is language that protects us and is about us. And so it does mean adult human female and it doesn't mean anything else. But Kelly, are you saying that people who have changed their se- have had a sex change can't call themselves women? Or are you saying people who are... You know, biologically still one sex and have a penis can't call themselves women? Um, I'm saying that I don't think changing sex is actually possible. OK, can I bring in Paula here? Because I know you have strong views. What do you say to that, Paula? Yeah. Well, I think, you know, people in a free country, in, a, in an open society, can, can call themselves what they want. But the, the problem comes when that kind of group infringes on another person, on another group's right yes. uh, to, the, to their own kind of self, self-determination. self So I can and, call know, myself what... what, 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 what I, I, sorry, just yeah, to surmise, I, mean, I can call myself yeah. what I like, but when I start yeah. telling Kevin to call me what I like, I've crossed into... Yeah. I've, I, I, I've muscled into his territory. Uh, uh, absolutely. Right. You know, I, I'm... I'm, I'm uh, I might have strong views on this, but I absolutely believe in the right of people in free and open societies to live, love and identify... Uh, how, 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 what make, with how it makes them happy, really, but as long as it's not infringing on other people's rights, yeah, yeah. rights to do that. I, I, um, but I just, I don't understand Kelly, uh, Kelly J's point of view, where you know a trans person who identifies as a woman isn't allowed to call themselves a woman. I just find that a very unkind attitude. And why can't they having... call themselves a trans woman? The rights aren't about <laughs> kindness. Well, 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 society changing and acknowledging that things move on. Oh, but that, acknowledging... but society changing, I mean, the, I, I'm presuming Kelly J, J was saying this, is we're starting to change into realms that are, are unrecognisable. Uh, why can't we just have women and trans women? I don't understand why trans women want to be something else other than trans well, why women. Should they have to be fa- why should they have to flag to the world that they used to be a man? If they've uh, suffered all their life... Hang and on, if hang you... on. You're, mistaken, you're very mistaken in your belief about how many of these men have... Uh, sex reassignment surgery. Most of them have no intention of losing their penis. No intention whatsoever. No, I, I, I understand. I'm not, I'm not saying they did. In I'm... 2018, you said on the radio that you found the billboard, the definition of woman, offensive. As a woman, you said that. Yes, I do find it offensive because that, I think it's offensive to the trans. Incredible. I think it's offensive to the trans community. I think it's unkind. Why would it be offensive? But... Why would you find that offensive? Because if it was racist, I'd find that offensive, and I'm white. I'm allowed to find racism offensive, is, and I'm allowed to find your poster your offensive. An insult to trans women. Okay. I'm sure that you have spoken to trans women about your views in the past. I know you've you've been blogging about I this for, have. for a long time. And surely they've told you how offensive they find it. They are no, looking for acceptance and recognition. Men have told me they find it offensive that they are not allowed to make demands on women that they are recognised as women. Now, I find that offensive as a woman because when I walk down the street and when I interact with society as a woman, I am treated as a woman because I am one. Now, I don't expect to have to capitulate to men who insist that women have to welcome them with open arms into our space. We fought very, very hard 
for the rights and protections that we have. They are not to be diluted by men who want to demand that we do so. Why would they be diluted? Well, the prisons issue would. is there the straight pres- away, isn't it? You take a, a, a man who's abused women, locked up in a male prison, who then identifies as a woman and is transferred to a female prison where he assaults two inmates. Of course. And that's <laughs> ab- that's you know, outrageous and ridiculous, but you can't and, use and that. And the is still in the prison. toilet is no longer a female toilet if there's men in it. A female changing room is no longer a female changing room if there are men in it. There are no lesbian-only nightclubs or clubs or groups in this country anymore because men have absolutely... Um, decided to infiltrate these places and now they lo- no longer exist. Women, but the way you women talk who are about, lesbians can't even define their own sexuality. But I just find the way you talk about it, trans women and men very depressing because it's always an you know, infiltration. It's like they are the enemy. They're not the enemy. But I find the way you talk about women and the, the, the definition of woman being offensive highly frightening. It's not... I, I was very clear. It's not the definition of women that I find offensive. It's the it's the message behind it well, that I find offensive. Well, women their boundaries is offensive. But that's the bit where I get I lost, find you it see, the, Daisy. The lack of with, 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 with respect, I didn't even know it was about trans, OK? I saw words about woman, yes. and I thought, oh, maybe it's a feminist group. I, did, I didn't know. Yeah. So... Doesn't it say that actually it's more about you as an individual than us as a culture, that you see it as transphobic? As far as I know, and maybe Kelly J or someone can put me right otherwise, no trans people have complained. The complaint has come from a gay man. So, I mean, the arguments you're putting up is what the trans community feel. And yet as I'm not aware, as, I'm, as we're saying this now, of any complaint by the trans community about this poster. No, so, so we've got people do. taking offence on behalf of other people about a poster that okay, doesn't even I'm, mention trans people. I'm, I'm not talking specifically about the poster. And I can tell you there will absolutely definitely be trans members of the trans community that will be offended because they know what's behind and it. And there will be some you know, that aren't. But there are lots of people, you know, I know that Kelly J's talked before, you know, has gone to Westminster and talked about why, you know, trans women shouldn't be allowed to be on all women shortlists within the of Labour Party. And, and again, that's but, something that, you know, I would disagree with. Can we hear, can, Kelly J, can you explain why, please? Uh, Well, because women had to fight for their rights. So I spoke to a Labour activist and she fought for the right to have equal representation within Labour. So she was instrumental in trying to get these all-women shortlists. Well, they're now no longer all-women shortlists. All all you have to do is say, I am a woman. So women have different paths in this world. But Kelly J, what kind of politician is going to just say, I'm going to, you know... From, from now on, I'm going to live my life as a woman just to get on a short Well, the, the, guy, the guy in Southampton, the guy in Southampton who said he identified as a woman between 11 and 1 on a Thursday and got on <laughs> and got on an all Labour shortlist for women to highlight the ludicrous nature where we no longer, we, whatever we're born in as a sex, we can just announce whatever we are and everybody else has to run around and agree with yes, it. Yes, but would you vote for somebody who did that? Uh, you're talking to the wrong person. I'd vote for anyone as long as it's none of the mainstream individuals. So a uh, wrong person to ask Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. No, I think I would vote for them. But doesn't this uh, um, debate uh, sort of revolve around the fact that the trans lobby, and I'm not taking any stance here, I'm being very careful about this, but the trans lobby uh, want us to accept anyone who has trans uh, as a complete and utter female, and yet the uh, feminists, the extreme feminists, say say that they can never be that. That's the crux say, of this argument, I'm not an argument, extreme feminist. It? I'm just a woman. Uh, I'm not an extreme feminist. I'm, I'm not a radical I, I, I must admit, I, I'm allergic to terms like extreme feminist okay. because it's so pejorative. Can I bring in Paula on this? Because she's written so much about feminism. Uh, I, I don't know if you've heard much. Can you give a brief recap to Paula? Paul, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, 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 on, on, go on, Kim. on. What are we doing? What you were just talking? <laughs> the fake street of feminism. Oh yeah. So do you want to be recap my my point? Well, Paul, I was just saying, is it not the case that this debate revolves around the fact that the trans lobby uh, would like us to define anyone who has trans as a complete and utter female, and yet well, I'm careful not to say feminists or anything, but so, a lot of women say that that is not the case, and people who have trans can never be females. Well, biologically, that that is true uh yeah and i I think it's important to say you know that the trans lobby don't represent all trans people you know trans people are are a diverse group as much as anybody else and the trans lobby are just the most kind of politically um active loud ones basically uh but yeah um can we say can we can we say, can we say the same about the feminist lobby? And actually, broadly speaking, most people's toilets in their own homes are uh, gender neutral. Whoever wants to go in the toilet goes <laughs> in the toilet. And actually, it's only a section of uh, of uh, of women that feel otherwise. 
Yeah, well, just to keep, the, yeah, to keep on point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paula, uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, lovely talking to you, and uh, I hope one day I can bring you down to the studio and actually meet you, which would be lovely. Uh, Kelly J, if you could stay there, that would be great, because I believe now we can bring in Councillor Harry Doyle, who was instrumental in the poster being taken down. I think he's just coming on. Um, Kevin, you, you, what is your view on the poster? Um... Well, I, I think I'm 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 with Daisy uh, that I think that um, Kelly J had every right to put it up, uh, and we have any every right to be offended if we want. I don't like the idea of tearing down uh, expressions of free speech. Simple as that. Okay. Well, uh, Councillor Harry Doyle, I believe, is on the line now. Afternoon, Harry. Hi, everyone. Yeah. Good afternoon. Um, both Daisy and Kevin feel they didn't particularly like the poster, but both of them felt it should have stayed. Okay. Well, I I'd first I'd just like to say, actually, listening to Kelly J. Then I'm I'm, I'm absolutely oof, my, the mind bubbles. I think at the end of the day, the poster. Uh, if we're talking about the poster, we talk about the language used and we talk about what, what the words actually said. Yes, of course, woman is not uh, as, as a as a word is not offensive. However, it's the atten- the intention. Um, of the people who put it there. But isn't that um, entirely subjective? I.e., I genuinely made no connection with the trans community. So only people that s- want to see those type of connections see those Matthew, kind of connections. But Matthew, it wasn't aimed at you. Oh, I didn't know oh, posters were aimed at specific people. I thought posters were aimed at communities. I didn't realise they were mark, selective. But this, but this I didn't realise. I, I was aware of the uh, Hello Boys poster, and I'm pretty <laughs> sure that that wasn't designed for me either. So let, let, let's let's run with Work this. Works for me. Uh, um, uh, Harry, uh, back to you, please. Yes. No, but as I say, the intention of that poster is entirely say, subjective. No, no. But what has been said and what Kelly has just said on this talk show is that trans women are not women. And in the same sense, trans men are not men. Now, just picture, you know, a a child on the bus going to school, a trans child going past that poster, having a look at that, knowing, because people are aware, the trans community in Liverpool are very much aware. How how many complained about the poster of the trans community rather than people taking offence on their behalf? I couldn't give you a number. So you have no idea, just to be clear, Harry, you have no idea if any member of the trans community has complained about the poster. I've had lots of people come to me personally. But no, 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 that's different from an official complaint. As far as you you don't know if there's been any official complaint about the poster at all by members of the trans community. Well, it's not owned by the council, so we we wouldn't know if... OK, but it's, it's, just, it's just interesting because the only person that seems to have made any complaint on the record wasn't a mm. member of the trans community. So, uh, but, a, but a member of the LGBT community, and that includes trans people. So we are LGBT activists, and the T is absolutely part of what we stand yeah, for. Yeah, although I do know gay people who totally resent that, so, I mean, that's another problem for another day. <laughs> we go around in circles, really. Certainly not, well, certainly not for me. Right, OK. OK. Um, was it, would it not have been better to offer uh, the trans community, or I- indeed even better than that, the actual complainant, who was gay and not a member of the trans community, a poster space to put his message up, so we'd get balance rather than tearing a poster down? So why should the trans community have to pay out? Because none of them, as far as you know, have actually complained. So rather than acting on behalf of people you don't know have actually complained, why not deal with the person who has complained and give him an opportunity to have his speech, have his say, rather than deprive other people of the right to have their say? Rather than close down speech, give people more speech, is what I'm saying, Harry. But this, to me... And if you go online and look at the definition of hate crime and hate speech, yeah. it's exactly that. And it comes, it comes in all forms. Trans, the trans community, it's, it's, it's a protected characteristic. And the displaying of posters and distribution of, of literature... I, I understand. I, I, I understand that. But what I'm saying is, wouldn't it be better in a nicer, more open, more respectful society that believes in free speech, rather than closing mm-hmm. one person's right to free speech down because... One person, as far as I know, is offended, but I'll take your view that you've heard many others. Rather than act closing down free speech, why not give other people an opportunity to speak? Lots of things offend me, but I don't expect them to stop. I hate One Direction. I loathe their music. But I don't expect them to stop because I'm offended. We can coexist, can we not, Harry, in a spirit of absolutely. love and harmony? No, absolutely. But if the question, if the question is, is a trans woman a woman, is a trans man a man? Yeah, I was just that, thinking. I was just thinking that, about the poster. Is, I was just thinking about the poster, which doesn't mention the trans community at all. But, this, but that's come from all of this debate, and mm. that, that's exactly a direct link to this debate. And if that's the question, 
that, and, and you've just heard Kellyanne, trans men are not men, trans women are not women. Well, that's not a debate. That's like saying, I'm sorry, but that's like saying, you know, I've had many discussions about uh, immigration. Now, I will, I will not. I will not have that discussion with a downright racist who, who just really? will not. Really? I it's would. Smooth. You see, because I believe you've got to engage with everybody and you can't go around shutting people down, Harry, because all you'll end up with is resentment. It's a bit like the Brexit row. When you call Remainers, Ramonas and Brexiteers racist, all you end up with is division and failure. It will never work. And I've got, I'm looking at tweets here, people saying, it's a micro-minority tail wagging the dog. Grow up. The definition. All I'm seeing since, since these campaigns have been going on, the worst thing is more aggravation and more animosity and not more love and coming together but hopefully hopefully harry one day will get there harry door lovely talking to you kelly j keen minchel as well lovely talking to you as well thanks for picking up the phone mm. but i really agree with your final point I and mean, i think and i and i also understand why people are tweeting in saying it's the minority yeah. tail wagging the dog and i know you started matthew with this whole discussion by saying my goodness me how much attention has the trans debate and gender yeah. politics had and i think a lot of people are sick to death of it, yeah. but it's important because it's an area that yeah. hasn't, the, where, I, I, which I affects a minority of people, but affects them massively. Yes, and it also affects a large group of people in a small way. 